There you are, Vestige. We must speak at once. Listen well. I have located a safe harbor from which we might plan our course of action. You must... I awoke in a city of Bretons, its air heavy with the smells of baked bread, horses, and intrigue. Daggerfall. Ugh. The proud city of Daggerfall greets you. Can I help you? The Seamount War Chief? Impressive. I don't know what you did to convince him, friend. But you have my gratitude. Well done. I hear familiar footfalls. Welcome to the Harborage Vestige. This is as comfortable a home as an old dried up husk like myself could hope for. Despite my blindness, nay, because of it, my other senses seem to have heightened. This place had the right smell about it. Indeed, but let us not get ahead of ourselves. Without an understanding of where we are bound, every road will get us nowhere. Of a sort. I invite you to enter my mind and walk with me through visions of the past that you will enter my mind, Vestige, and walk with me through the shadows of past events. Follow me, Vestige, and learn of the events that precipitated our current crisis. The story began when I awoke on the steps of the Abbey of the Moth Priests, with no memory of my prior life. The Moth Priests took pity upon me and brought me into their fold. I was weak and near death. allowed me to glimpse the very fabric of reality, but each profound insight dimmed my vision and eventually left me permanently blinded to the light of the world. The prophecies of the Elder Scrolls are a fluid living thing. They are not fixed. At many points throughout history, the actions of heroic mortals have rewritten them. I only know that you are important, Vestige. The scrolls reveal to me that your destiny is intertwined with that of the Five Companions. The Five Companions were a band of adventurers who sought out an ancient artifact called the Amulet of Kings. They hoped to use this artifact to persuade Akatosh, the Dragon God, to accept their leader as one of the Dragonborn. Baron Aquilarius, the son of Calobian Duke, who led a rebellion against the Emperor Leovic and took the crown himself. Alas, Verum was not truly a dragonborn, as those who sit upon the ruby throne must be. In accord you have already heard enough babbling from this old blind fool. The first companion, Lyris Titanborn, daughter of giants, was the mightiest warrior in the service of the Emperor. Next, Abner Farm, a powerful sorcerer and Grand Chancellor to the Imperial Elder Council. The Red Guard Swordmaster, Sai Sahan, leader of 
of the Imperial Dragon Guard. The Imperial Emperor, Baron Aquilarius, who attempted to light the dragon fires and failed. And finally, Manam Marco, the traitor, the king of worms, a powerful necromancer, and your executioner. These were the five companions who set out from the Imperial City on an epic quest to recover the lost amulet of kings. Many Marco convinced Varen that the amulet could be used to perform a ritual that would rekindle the dragon fires. By tradition, only the dragonborn can lay claim to the ruby throne and rule as the one true emperor by divine right. Varen conquered Cyrodiil and took the throne. But unless he became dragonborn, he feared he'd always be thought of as a pretender. Each of the five companions were chosen for their skill and courage, and each was given a special role to perform in the party. You've already met Lyris. She's a Nord warrior from the frozen lands of Skyrim to the north, and it is said that her family lineage contains the blood of giants. Sai Sahan came from a long line of Red Guard Swordmaster nobles, he was the leader of the Dragon Guard, the security detail of Varen and the Elder Council. While Lyris was Varen's bodyguard, Sai was charged with protecting the entire group. The Therns are one of the most influential families in Cyrodiil. Ab Manamarco the traitor, the great enemy, the most powerful necromancer this world has ever known. His worm cult infiltrates and corrupts every corner of Tamriel. Disaster, war, and pestilence. A world brought to its knees. There it is. The dragon with high abrasion. Manimarko, you certain this will work? It will work. The Amulet of Kings will rekindle the dragon fires and ensure your rightful place as Emperor. You have my word. It better work, Money Marco, or you'll find your neck at the business end of my axe. My lord, I wonder if you'd muzzle your half-giant pet. She really is annoying. Enough, both of you. We are here to ensure my lord's rightful claim to the ruby throne. Abner, begin the ritual. I have a destiny to fulfill. By the lighting of the dragon fires, I claim my rightful lineage. By the fires of creation, let me be reborn. By the will of Akatosh, I proclaim myself dragonborn. Baron Aquilarius, you are no heir to Alessia. You will pay for your sacrilege. The veil between Tamriel and Oblivion tears and spits asunder. What's happening? The sky's opening up. This is bad. This is very bad. Ah! This isn't supposed to happen. What's the meaning of this? Mary Marco, what have you done? Y'all are fools. The veil between Oblivion and this world has been torn. My master, Molag Pars, is free to claim Tamriel for his own. Akatosh! Forgive me! Have mercy on our souls! The ritual tore the veil between Nairn and Oblivion. Marco to begin stealing the souls his master needed to power the dark anchors and initiate the plain mill. Akatosh gave Alessia the amulet of kings as a symbol of his covenant with Nan. So long as the amulet remained in the care of Alessia's heirs and the dragon fires remained lit, Tamriel would be protected from the Daedra. Manamarco tricked Varen into breaking the covenant and the veil between Oblivion and Nan was torn. The Elder Scrolls named this event the Soul Burst. 
It gave Molog Bao the opportunity to disconnect the souls of Nan from their hosts. Varon was lost. In the chaos of the moment, Sai Sahan took the Amulet of Kings and fled. Leris was captured by Menemako and delivered to Cold Harbor, the realm of Molog Bao. Thaun remains Chancellor of the Elder Council, and his daughter Tribio rules as Empress Regent. But the true power remains in the hands of Manimarco and his worm cult. When I discovered the truth about the five companions, I made subtle inquiries, but apparently not subtle enough. Manimarco got word of my interests and abducted me. He took me to Cold Harbor, where I remained a prisoner until you freed me. The truth is always a threat to evil men. Manamarco feared. Long ago it was written, so long as the amulet of kings was borne by Alessia's heirs, Tamriel would be protected from the forces of oblivion. But the soul burst tore the veil between worlds and gave Molok Baal the opportunity he desired. Molok Baal's dark anchors pierced the tomb of him as he to draw man into the depths of cold heaven. His terrible engines of destruction were appearing all throughout Tamriel. and domination is successful, he would merge our world and his own in a terrible plain mill. Few will survive the ordeal, and those that do will be enslaved for all eternity. And so it falls to us, Vistage. We must stop Molog Bar and his dark anchors, or our world is doomed, as you say. And so it begins. The remainder of the story has yet to be written. It is your story now. And there is so much to do. But know this, you will not walk this path alone. We must grow in strength and in numbers. You will need more than the company of an old blind man to alter the course of history. We must assemble our own group of companions. The first you have already met. Lyris sacrificed her own freedom to allow us to escape. She remains a prisoner in Cold Harbor. I must determine her precise location if we are to mount a rescue. That will take time. Minamarco's agents leave a web of lies and deceit. They pit the races of Tamriel against one another and divert their attention from the real threat. Forgive me. Bringing you to my mind seems to have taken quite a toll on me. I must rest. I will contact you when the time is right. Until then, walk in the light, Vistage. We must right the wrongs of his... Forgive me.
darkness now. Seek me by the cliffs outside Daggerfall. Leave me now. I must rest and meditate. Leave me now. It is good to see you again, and I do see you in my own way. You're a wound in time, a tear in reality that shouldn't exist and cannot long endure. Fate speaks in riddles. Your fate was written in the scrolls long ago. She works a terrible forge under the lash of the great deceiver, Molog Baal. Tread carefully in Molog Baal's realm. You are important. The scrolls have so named you. After Lyris took my place in the Wailing Prison so that we might escape, the Daedra moved her to the Foundry of Woe. The God of Schemes invaded my mind many times during my imprisonment. It was a tortuous experience, but by... We are connected, he and I. With concentration, I can see through his eyes. He feels my presence, and it fills him with rage. When you... It will be a far greater danger for you to enter Cold Harbor without this distraction. It is Molog Baal's realm, and his power there is great. I would... You're alive, and he's still alive. Thank the gods. But you, you can't stay. You have, you don't understand. They've done something to me. I can't leave. It's hard to describe my memories, my feelings. They've, they've been fragmented, ripped apart, tried. The Daedra took everything. My willpower, my courage, my sense of self. I'm an empty shell. And the fragments are reflections of my worst fears and most painful memories. I, I can't. I, I don't think I can face them. I'll do my best. Lead on. Lost souls are barely aware of their humanity. The guards don't even beat them anymore.
Skyrim. My parents' graves. My mother died in childbirth. My father was distant. Cold. I think he blamed me for my mother's death. I ran off to become a mercenary when I was 16. I never saw my father again. He was murdered by an old enemy. Father? Papa. Is that you? Bleed, you bastards! Die like the monster you are! Are you? Why does Lyris walk with you? In life, I was Gyalda, father to Lyris. My spirit was torn from its rest and brought to this foul place. I don't understand. Lyris was always a free spirit. Why would my presence bind her here? Lyris, is this true, child? You were always so cold, so distant. My mother died giving me life. It was my fault. I should never have been born. Lyris, look at me. The blood of giants flows through my veins. Your mother was a Nord. I gave her my seed without thought for her safety. That's why she died. Not because of you, child. Because of me. I thought you blamed me. You couldn't even look at me, Papa. Do you not see? When I looked at you, I saw her face. I loved her, child. Just as I love you, more than life itself. We cannot change the past, nor should we cling to it. You must not let these feelings haunt you. Let them go. Let me go. I love you too, Papa. Rest now. Be at peace. He's gone. Come on, let's get out of here. This place is a labyrinth of hopelessness built to compound the misery of those who labor here. Careful. Keep your head down. Did you get all the pieces? Yeah, I stashed them in the footlockers all around the camp. I bet the commander makes her run 50 laps this time. 50? Let's hope the beast gets a lashing. All right. Let's get back to it. Act natural. Did you find something? I can't believe it. This armor is who I am. It's what I am. Excellent. I'm ready. Watch your step. All the mining has made these tunnels unstable.
Nathan, you traitorous bastard. I should have expected to find you here. Don't be a fool, Titanborn. I'm trying to help you. Your hatred poisons you. Warriors are like steel. When you lose your temper, you lose your worth. Help me. You betrayed us all, then went back to licking Money Marco's boot before the smoke cleared. I did what I had to do. And as a show of my good intentions, I have a gift for you. But be warned, Cold Harbor will not give it up easily. Is that... Sure as bones it is. Vestige, that's my battle axe! Thirsty for Daedric blood, old friend. <sighs> My axe. Ah, oh, it feels good to have it back. It's part of me. Losing it was like losing an arm. I don't know. I don't trust him and I never will. But it's odd. The blind hatred I felt when I saw him. <sighs> I could have strangled him with my bare hands. But now... I think he was right. That hatred was poisoning me. Better. Stronger. Almost whole again. Oh, that's strange. We're not done yet. We need to keep moving forward. Stand back. No damn pile of pebbles is gonna stop me now. Huh. So many Daedric beasties, so little time. We need to keep moving.
hear that? It sounded like... No. It couldn't be. Sai. What's happened to you? What have they done? Lyris. Lyris. I can see you. Are you really there? Sai. It's me. We're seeing some kind of vision of you. Do you know where you are? I... I don't know. They're torturing me. They want the Amulet of Kings. They want me to tell them where it's hidden. But I haven't broken. Not yet. Sai, you need to hold on. We're going to find you. I'll make sure of it. We'll find you. Somehow we'll get you out of there. Sai? Sai! No! Bring him back, you bastards! That was no trick. That was Sai Sahan. Sai's a friend. Maybe my best friend. We need to find him and get him out of there. We need to tell the Prophet about this. He'll know what to do. Something's wrong. All the doubt, fear, loneliness. It's all coming back. I, I have to push through this. Let's go.
Liris Chan. Are you all right? Yes, Prophet, I'm fine. The vestige freed my mind from the dangerous control. Thank the divines. Your loss would have thrown all into chaos. They won't take me again. Not alive, at least. Prophet, Menemarko captured Sai Sahan. He's torturing him to find out where the Amulet of Kings is hidden. We have to rescue him. You brought Lyris back, and largely intact from the look of her. And she will need time to recover. One does not leave such a place unscarred. What did he say? Did Sai tell you where he is being held? Then we must locate him before Menemarko forces him to reveal the Amulet's hiding place. Did he? I thought he had firmly aligned himself with Minamarco and his worm cult. Curious, I'm curious. I just saw in my visions the amulet's misuse ripped a hole in the barrier that protects Time Real from the forces of oblivion. Dead. For now, you must leave me to my meditation. I must set my mind to the task of locating Sai Sahan. Until then, embrace the unknowable. The drops of water cannot know themselves to be a river. Yet the river flows on. Perhaps it was simply arrogance. Perhaps it was all part of his grand scheme. You can 